In this video, let's talk about try, catch and finally block within Microsoft Power Automate. By default, Microsoft Power Automate does not have a direct uh, construct of try, catch, finally block as what is available in other programming languages uh, just out of the box. So you need to construct those try, catch, finally or simulate those kind of actions within your Microsoft Power Automate if you want to catch the errors or exceptions within your flow. Try catch finally action in Power Automate can be simulated using the scope action and the configure run after feature or uh, the control which is which comes uh, after the uh, control which you want to control the exceptions. Now, uh, if you see in the screenshot over here, I have one simple flow which has a try catch finally encased in a scope action and within try catch and finally there might be some set of actions. Now. For a try, if you want to uh, catch the exception, so for the catch, if you see here, you need to run the catch only if the, uh, say, catch is either, uh, say, failed or if it is skipped, okay? Uh, now, if you see in this screenshot over here, try catch and finally. Now for catch settings, if you go in catch settings, it's uh, catch should run after try has failed or it has timed out okay so if the try has failed if it has failed or if it has timed out okay so then you execute the catch block if it is succeeded then don't execute it just go directly to the finally block now when finally it it is written over here that finally should run after the catch is successful okay or maybe catch is skipped okay so if that is the case then finally should execute so that means in case of an exception finally should always run okay try quite possible that in try all the actions may succeed or one of the action may fail okay if one of the action fails then it goes to catch if try executes successfully try block controls then it directly goes into finally and it skips the catch block so that's the logic we are going to implement within our uh, power automate flow now let's go into the demo so this is a try catch simulation instant flow so i'm authoring a flow over here so we'll use a simple manual trigger a flow and then we'll try to create three different uh, scope okay so i'm creating scope number one and um, then i will create another scope And I'll create another scope. <clears throat> now the first scope we call it as try logic. Second is the catch logic. And third one is a finally logic. Now within try logic, let's add some control just to showcase. Okay, so I'm just putting compose action over here and uh, let me add a compose here as well so we are not going to write any logic i'm just going to simulate the try catch block and just show you how to write the construct in microsoft power automate so here we have try catch block compose actions in all the three uh, and now for a catch we need to configure in such a way that uh, the catch should over here if you select this catch scope So let me go into the sketch look it says run after you need to select an action okay so the select action is try okay so if the try is has failed or if the try has timed out if the try is successful then we need not run the catch block and if you go in finally here we can say finally should uh, run after if the catch is successful or if the catch is skipped okay so because quite possible if all the try action is completed then we may have to skip the catch block right so then this is required if it is successful yes anyways finally should run so that means finally should run 
irrespective of what happens in try and catch. If exception is thrown in try, then it should the control should be transferred to catch. If everything works fine, then the control directly goes back from try to finally. And this is how you set the uh, try catch block within Microsoft Power Automate. Now here you your logic can go in. Okay. Now this is the main block try block. So here you will put all the controls uh, which will do some particular actions. Uh, and uh, quite possible there is a chance that this action may fail and that's the reason you want to uh, introduce the catch block now in catch block you will not write uh, a code which may throw an exception so in catch block basically you may uh, write something which is uh, basically related to handling uh, exceptions okay handle exceptions now in finally block if you want to do some sort of a cleanup you know uh, of all the uh, actions which has occurred based on the exceptions you can do that or maybe uh, finally we'll have a, a resultant action uh, basically uh, the resultant actions basically which is uh, irrespective of the exceptions which has happened in uh, the try block so finally we'll try to consolidate all the information from try or either try and catch uh, and try to uh, give a proper response to the say user interface or maybe to the uh, uh, the daemon activities okay uh, so within the uh, system so that's how you handle those try catch finally block within microsoft power automate and remember you can have like this uh, at multiple places so now not necessarily you will have try catch block just for one scenario you know you can have uh, say one try catch block here you can have one try catch block here and you can have one try catch block in the other logic okay so uh, you can have multiple try catch block and then within a block you can also simulate a try catch block so within a catch also i can try to put in the scope component and try to catch the exception if it is uh, uh, if i think that it's it may gonna happen okay so those all things can be done using try catch finally scope using the scope action so that's it folks thanks for watching